Hi, this is Tina from Artisan Savon. I just want to do a quick video and show you how I make my piping bags, or lack of piping bags, but you know, using a lunch bag as a piping bag. So what I've got here is just one of your normal supermarket resealable storage bags, or lunch bags, or super sized lunch bags. Um, you can use the small ones. I only use the bigger ones because when I do piping, I tend to do a big 30 inch loaf or 4 kilos ish of soap. So, you know, I use a lot of butter and I, I don't know, I just find it easier. You're going to need a box cutter or Stanley knife as they're known here. You will need duct tape or masking tape or boxing tape, that brown boxing tape. Um, I tend to find duct tape. Um, is better for me only because I think it's stronger and it's more durable than masking tape. Masking tape is going to hit the oil and if it's oily it's just going to come off. Duct tape will do the same thing but it seems to stick better. For stickiness to the plastic you really want boxing tape. That's the best. It's going to stick even if it gets a little bit oily. Um, I'm using a six point coaster um, piping tip nothing fancy just a cheap one off of ebay but it's a nice big one so it's not one of the little ones um, for the tops of my loaves I like big blobs not little blobs anyway what we're going to do now you can do either side it doesn't matter I don't know whether it's because I'm right handed or not but I always tend to do the right hand side corner um, is that in focus can you guys see that yep so I always tend to do the right side corner so that's exactly what I'm going to do again today so I've already cut a strip of duct tape and you're going to put half the length hang on yeah you're going to put half of it and line it up with the seam and just place it on there and then you're going to flip the bag and you're going to fold it try not to fold the bag when you fold when you put this second half down but you're just gonna fold it down like that. It doesn't matter if it's not even, it really doesn't matter. Then you're gonna take a second piece, a bit more length to this second piece than you did the first piece. Let's come up there. Now, this is core flute, this is not my bench. I put a sheet of core flute on here so I do not wreck my bench. Anyway, especially as you know, this is a rental. I don't look after other people's things. Right. Now, same thing again, but you're going across the bottom, not up the side. So, same thing. Line it up with the bottom seam. Place it down. You've still got that half remaining. Flip it over. And fold it back. I suppose if the bag wasn't there, you'd be folding it back over itself. Alright, so we're going to get our tip now, as you can see, we'll open that up, yeah, you can see the corner in there, but it's going to also give strength to your seams when you're piping, you're still going to need to, when you're piping, you're still going to need to support your bag, because this isn't a piping bag, it's not made for piping, it's made for storing, and you know, the seams aren't 100% great. Anyway, so now you're gonna line your piping tip up with your corner. Like so. And you're probably wanna, gonna wanna go, um, I don't know, I just sort of cut off the top and then maybe go a little bit down. I take less off than I think I need to, only because if you take more off, you gotta do the whole process again because your piping tip is going to slip down. So I take up less than what I think I need and if I need more I can adjust it. So I'm not taking the tip of my finger off, relax. I just take the tip off. I normally use a pair of scissors for this but I couldn't find scissors because the scissors in, these, in this house they always tend to grow legs like pens. They always be missing. Anyway, so piping tip over your index finger push it to the corner and if you can't push it through the little hole, you can see it to be finger, but you can't push it through, take a little bit more. 
Not too much more because remember, if you make it too big, your python tips are going to slip out the bottom. So little by little, until you get the right size. And just strap my piping tip in my apron. So let's try again. Piping tip in. Alright, so that goes through, but it's not pushing so far through that, you know, it's going to slip out. Now, I have that tip in. I'm just going to push it there so it doesn't slide backwards. Now what I do, to secure that tip in there, because you've got soap butter, it's oily. So, you know, sometimes the piping tip, because it's metal and it's against plastic, if that oil gets in between it, it's not going to stay and it can slide back in. And when you're working with wet soap butter, you don't want to be stuffing around trying to um, save your piping tip. Now what I'm doing is I've just cut a square of duct tape. I'm going to cut it into... Oops. I'm going to try to cut it into two triangles. So, you've got two halves there, diagonally cut. Now what you're going to do, get this out of the way. Right, you've got your piping tip in. You are going to take your first triangle and find, mm, I'm not sure if you can see that, so I'm just going to hold it here. You're going to find one of your points, it doesn't matter which one, just any, and you're going to put the point of your triangle directly below one of the points of your tip. You don't want to cover the gaps here because you know you want your pretty piping so I do it on one of the triangle sections and that little bit of extra tape there just sort of holds it from the outside and will stop it slipping back in and you're just going to do the same on the other side and just tape it down what hands and just press it down and See if you guys, if you can see that tape there, that's what I meant. And then on the, on the other side, you can see what I mean by I've just taped near the point, but I haven't taped the gap. Okay, and that's it. That's your final tip. It's not going to slip back in. And you pretty much just, just got a bit of water, but that's okay. You just, with them, Show the container, bag down, stick it aside, and you're ready to pipe with it. So that's my little tip. Um, hopefully people find it useful, and if not, well, you sat here and watched the video anyway. You might as well leave a comment. Alright, so enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Bye!